Well, hello there, KK fam. Welcome once more to Quantress Kitchen. Did somebody say Taco Tuesday? Well, I did hear Taco Tuesday, and so I am having taco with my family for dinner. It's going to be a fish and shrimp taco. It was so good. I hope this is an inspiration for you, for you to make something like this for your family or with your family. Come along with me and let's do some cooking. I have here some shrimp. It's already deveined, I'm just going to peel the skin, get it ready. The children love shrimp, so you can never make enough. It's true. I also have my tilapia. So I just got a pound of tilapia filet, so that's just three pieces. So I've washed my shrimp as well as my tilapia. I'm going to pat dry the tilapia because I want my seasoning to be able to stick onto it. If it has too much water, everything is pretty much just going to run off. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder on here. This is some cilantro lime seasoning. The brand is Tony's, or oh, is it Tones? I'm not too sure, but I normally get this from Sam's Club. I'm going to use a little bit of Old Bay seasoning as well for that seafood flavor. I'm going to add some onion powder. I'm going to also add some salt and a drizzle of cooking oil. I'm using some avocado oil. I'm going to be grilling my fish, so I'm being mindful of the kind of oil I use. You don't want something that is not going to be able to withstand too much cooking heat. So the avocado oil is perfect for this purpose. I'm just going to wrap that on my fish, let it coat it, as well as trying to spread the, uh, the seasoning as I do this. I'm going to flip the other side and apply the same marinades that I did previously, then add my oil. Tilapia is very well seasoned at this point. It is definitely going to have flavor. I'll set it aside and do the shrimp. I'm definitely adding some Old Bay to my shrimp as well. A little bit of the cilantro lime will go in also. Some onion powder, a little bit of paprika going in as well, just to give it a little bit of color. I'm going to drizzle some oil on it, just coat it with all these seasonings. And then I'm going to just put them on skewers because I'm going to grill and it's going to be easier for me to be able to turn them and let everything grow with not too much stress. So the skewers help in this regard. At this point, I've already started preheating my griddle. I'm going to be using the griddle instead of grilling outdoors. I'm going to spray some cooking spray just to grease it. Greasing the grill pan is very essential to make sure that whatever you're cooking on it does not get stuck on it. Now I'm going to set my shrimp. We're gonna start making our salsa. I'm going to be using a red onion just for color and I'm going to use half of that. I'm also going to be using one jalapeno. I'm going to take out the seeds so it's not too spicy. I don't want my salsa or my pico de gallo to be runny so I'm going to be removing the seeds from my tomatoes as well. I'm cooking my shrimp and my tilapia filet on low heat. It's been about five minutes, so I think it's a perfect time for me to stop what I'm doing regarding my salsa and then go check on it. You don't want to overcook your meat, especially the shrimp, otherwise it's going to be rubbery. 
flipping it you can see the grill marks are beautiful on here they have some char to it it is absolutely perfect for me to turn it and let it cook for about an extra three minutes on the other side and it's gonna be perfect at that point There's always going to be that one that will make you go like, what the heck? To cut up my vegetables for my pico de gallo or my salsa, I'm going to be using this chopper. It cuts everything to the perfect sizes. It makes for faster chopping. So I really love to use it when I'm making quite a big batch of something like this, especially for my meat pie filling to cut up my potatoes and onions and my carrots to beautiful dices. And voila, look at how perfect everything has been chopped up to be. I'm also going to be adding some cilantro or coriander in here. So I'm going to be chopping up the stem or the stalk, I should say, as well as a few of the leaves. And that going in here is what has made me come to love Mexican food anyway. So that's the real reason. I just love cilantro in everything Mexican. So I'm not going to put a little bit. I'm going to definitely put quite a bit more in my... Uh, pico de gallo feel free to add as much as you can tolerate shrimp then fish perfectly cooked now I'm going to transfer them onto plates and get ready to serve All right, let's turn our focus back onto our salsa. So I'm going to be pouring my chopped ingredients into a bowl. To that, I'm going to be adding some of my chopped cilantro. And like I said, I'm going to be pretty generous with it. I'm going to put the rest of that on the side to serve. I've added some salt and some pepper. I'm also going to cut up one lime and squeeze the juice of that lime in here. And that citrus in here makes a big difference. So you don't want to skimp on that. You really need some lime juice in here tropical vibe that's what we're looking for and that's in here now i'm going to mix everything together and that is how simple it is to make a very delicious but absolutely simple salsa like this one i would have loved to have some mango in here for some sweetness a little bit of tang a little bit of you know spice but i didn't have mango at home and this was absolutely delicious regardless i'm going to transfer this into a bowl that i'll bring to the table presentation is always very essential over here in my kitchen so there that goes and now we'll work on the miscellaneous stuff like the extra cilantro that is going to go on the table slices of lime because yes that extra lime juice on your taco is everything you might have lime juice in your salsa you might have it in other ingredients that are going to be on the table but having your lime sitting right in front of you so you can just pick one and squeeze that fresh juice onto your salsa it's golden so i'm going to put that on the table i'm also going to be making my sauce so this is going to be my taco sauce this is very simple to make i already have in my bowl some sour cream to that i'm going to be adding some of this chipotle pepper so smoked chipotle pepper sauce generous amount i would like my spice so i'm going to put that in here squeeze some lime juice on top of that and mix it up that is how simple it is i like to put more juice so however liquidy you want it to be i just like to use the lime juice instead of adding any water or anything else to it so i'm gonna stir this first make sure that 
I have the consistency I desire and if it's too thick I'm just going to add some juice to it pretty simple it smells so good and that is why I'm saying you might have more lime in other parts of your taco toppings but I still like that extra lime just take me on an island and I'll be happy so so happy I don't have any guacamole to serve this with but I'm going to just use avocado and I'm just going to slice them up not the greatest avocado I could have found but well hey we're still going to make do with what we have we're going to warm our tortillas I'm going to be using both flour and corn I'm going to warm the flour ones first Mommy, yes why can't you make a talk a, a, a hot dog taco with a sausage inside it it's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. 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 You know me, that's why. Just open your mouth and count the four. It's raining tacos. Yum, 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 yum. It's like a tree. Yum, 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 yum. yum. It's like a tree. It's raining tacos. Cheese, 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 cheese. Well, I hope you enjoy the song from Mr. Tacos himself. Flat tortilla is warmed up. I also have some of the corn on here as well. I'm going to add a few more corns to warm. I like to double up on the corn tortillas because they break up easily. So when you have just one, it's easy for all the juices you see how much lime juice I had in there it just runs right through it so when you double it it gives it a little bit of uh, cushioning well friends and family dinner is served very very delicious everything looking so pretty here I just feel like we went to a fancy place to eat this but it is cooked in the comfort of my home and in as much as I would be so delighted to have you join us at the table I will be even more delighted if you try this at home, made it for yourself and your loved ones, and they totally enjoyed it. I'll be very, very honored to know how it goes when you try it. It's always so heartwarming to read comments and messages and photos when you send them on Instagram to me. It is a true honor to be able to know that you tried something that I made and everybody that you served it to enjoyed it. Well, if this is your first time watching me, my name is Kwan Chua. Making simple, replicable <laughs> meals like this is what makes me happy. And I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.